Hello everyone, watch this review here where they look at Ice Axe, King, Lofi, Lofi, I, I can't remember, from the uh, Thor 3 and 3 quarter inch movie line. He's figure number 14. Didn't really see this one in stores, but, you know, towards the end of these waves and everything, I think a lot of it doesn't really end up in general retail because they're so peg warmed up that point that, you know, they just can't get rid of the back stock, they aren't getting the new stuff in, and in fact, a lot of retailers, I think, still do have the older Thor figures in that were originally released, I don't think they sold all that well. But, um, again, that sort of impedes these newer, more recent cool figures, which often end up getting shafted to the overstock retailers, they can't do anything with them. In this case, I did pick it up at Marshalls for 6 bucks, which, you know, is a more reasonable price for these figures. Because, I mean, the 8 that they're demanding at normal retail, a little bit high for a 3 and 3 quarter inch. 5 or 6, yeah, it's a cool price. But, um, hold on a second, then I'll get them out pack, talk about them a little bit. Out of pack, he's surprisingly awesome. You know, originally it was... I know, kind of on the ropes about picking him up, but, you know, I'm not even sure why I hesitated after seeing him in person. He does look very, very awesome. There's a lot of detail, very good paint work. Now, I don't have either of the other two on hand to compare them to. They've done a normal single-carded Frost Giant and then one of the deluxe packs. I bought the deluxe pack. Not sure what I did with it, but... From the images that I've seen online, it does look like the level of quality is a bit higher on Lofi here, or Lofi, as opposed to the normal ones. For one thing, the loincloth has a lot more detail and stuff on it, the other ones look kind of plain. Not really painted, and given that that's pretty much the only clothing these characters are wearing, it's moderately important. Now, as a frost giant, he actually is quite a bit taller than some of the other figures. Uh, let me pull him up to full height here. I don't like the look of the character at full height, but for the purposes of comparison, just try to get that. No, oh, he's gonna fall over. As you'll notice, he's taller than even the Marvel Universe figures. And, you know, Thor is a taller one from that. The other thing, of course, is that, you know, the movie figures are a bit shorter than the general Marvel Universe ones, so, you know, there is a tremendous size difference against Hogan here. At least, like, half a head or so forth. Now, the figure comes with two accessories. The first is a helmet, which I'll probably leave on it. Looks kind of tacky and cheap, but the sort of unhelmeted head, something about it I don't quite like. Uh, the other thing is this cudgel, or I guess mace. Now he's called Ice Axe Looking Lofi, but I don't know, this doesn't look like an axe to me. Uh, both the weapons are, well, both the accessories feature a translucent uh, bluish plastic with white paint highlights. Looks a lot better in person, although, depending on how you see the highlight, the highlight itself might look a little bit cheap, but, you know, I guess it's supposed to represent, like, snow or whatever. That's just kind of weird color for the helmet, though. Now, paint-wise, you'll notice that he has all these lines and stuff on the body. For whatever reason, they didn't bother painting them in, going all the way around, so just from the front you can see it. Turn around the leg here, nothing. Inner thigh, nothing. Kind of tacky, but I suppose, whereas you'll only be looking at the figure mostly from the front and not up close half the time, it's probably not a huge issue. Especially, I guess, for just larger displays and stuff. So, you know, uh, the Frost Giants definitely make for awesome army building. And it's cool that we have two sort of troop army builders and one leader, although, you know, if you wanted to, just when you're putting together a display, you could leave, say, the helmet off one to sort of represent Lofi, and then just have the helmets and everybody else to look like normal soldiers. Now, paint-wise, once again, a lot of work here. You'll notice that they have a sort of light blue 
whitish paint wash for the general body, with deepening shades and shadowing throughout, which is actually surprisingly cool for something from this line. Because generally, I didn't think the quality was terribly high for the Thor movie line. He is definitely sort of a standout here. But it means multiple, 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 and multiple shades. Where you have some extreme depth, you have some slightly darker blues, and... You know, it's just probably one of the nicest uh, paint jobs that I've seen from Hasbro in their Marvel line. Uh, the armor... Uh, it looks like it's got sort of a brass or goldish base, and then on top of that they just... Um, did a light green wash to give it a sort of weird ethereal color. I'm not sure if it's supposed to represent, like, say, snow reflecting off the armor or something, but, you know, once again, it's pretty cool. Now, the highlight or wash is a bit heavier on the helmet here, or whatever this thing's supposed to be. Skull cap, maybe? Yeah. And then, of course, you can also see it quite a bit on the shin guards. Uh, curiously, they did not... Like, they only painted the fronts of the armor, like the tops here. You'll still see, like, the blue and stuff. Which is, um, kind of tacky, but... I guess not a tremendously huge deal. And then there's not as... Well, the paint wash isn't evident at all on this. The green, I mean. Although, once again, you know, decent amount of color there. On the front, it does have the paint wash, which makes the back sort of plain by comparison, but hey, whatever. Now, if you're assuming that they reused the same mold, probably not the case. Uh, definitely the shins here, or calves, I believe, are new. Uh, he's the only one from the line, or from the Ice Giants, to have this one sort of shin guard here, so that's definitely new as well. Then the upper torso, I believe, is completely different. The other stuff I'm less sure about. Head sculpt wise, a uh, very cool looking face here. Once again, good paint. I'm not sure what this huge area in the forehead is. I can't remember if it was there in the film or not. I mean, it might be part of the character design, it might not. By the way, for the back here, I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent, but it's sort of an extra piece that pegs in here. I'll probably remove it. I think it's part of the outfit. Like it should connect it like the shoulder blades, but they don't actually have it doing so. Yeah. In terms of articulation, sort of standard stuff here for the movie lines. You have rotation at the wrist. You have a ball socket here at the elbow, but it's impeded by the gauntlets. Shoulder is really impeded inward due to the shoulder pads here. Though otherwise, you know, it's just general ball mo jointed motion, and then it goes around easier on the back because it doesn't have as much sticking out there, so. Head rotates only, but as it rotates, it will go up to sort of an angle here. I'm not sure why it isn't just ball jointed. Decent array of motion here in the torso joint. Uh, this piece here is glued in place. I think you could probably undo it and move it lower if you wanted to, but I don't see the point. He has the sort of line balls here at the hips, where you have to arrange that to go up in one direction, then you just rotate the thigh to move it around a bit. Double pin at the knee, then a ball and socket at the ankle. So yeah, I mean, definitely a all-around really neat figure. Uh, decent balance, he just doesn't seem to stand directly up well, but, you know, really sort of a small complaint. Especially considering how great the figure looks and how well he displays. Uh, definitely a essential for this line. Uh, this has been a look at King Lofi from the Thor 3 3 quarter inch movie line. Until next time, folks.